Now, LSU is nationally recognized as one of the top tailgating schools in the country, but after winning a national contest, one LSU fan is the most interesting in college football. Senior Kristen Christofferson is your average college kid. Oh yeah, no, like in class, I'll like try to like hide in the back. Yeah, but isn't it like one representative for every like 400,000? Yes, get through class and like just talk to people about class. But on weekends, Christofferson transforms into one of the most recognizable fans on campus, the LSU Tiger Eye guy. It's completely separate. Like I'll be I'll, like more outgoing and I'll, I'll be screaming more. Like in class, I'm not very loud. I'll start like LSU chants with fans when I walk into my tailgate at like 7.30 in the morning. And as of January 8th, he can also be recognized officially as the most interesting fan in college football. All season, Dos Equis searched for the most interesting fan of college football. Thousands of fans shared their stories, but only one deserved a statue in the College Football Hall of Fame. Christian Christofferson eats, drinks, and sleeps school spirit literally. Sometimes he sleeps in his chest paint. And every game day, he wears a cape he made himself out of duct tape. I was like pretty happy. I was like, oh, like best tailgating like school. Like we have some pretty interesting fans like the Painted Posse. I was like, so I think the title is like where it belongs with like most interesting fan. Along with the statue, Christian got a flight to Atlanta to watch the college football playoff national championship game and a chance to meet people like the most interesting man in the world from the Dos Equis ads. Like I wasn't even expecting the whole winning thing. Like I went and like not even expecting to make it to the first cut. So the whole thing, I was just like pretty shocked. Like. I don't think I was even jumping up, but I was like just staring at it, like, oh my god, I just won this whole thing. The artist Brenna Gonzalez told him he should have just gone and got it tattooed on his stomach. Has been painting the iconic eye since the idea was proposed in the dorms. The rest is history. She's like, I want to paint the tiger eye in one of you guys. And I was like, all right, I volunteer as a guinea pig. And I just thought this would be like a one-time gig. I got a good response. You're like, oh, let's keep doing it. So I still have my friend, the same person, painting me up till this day. Although Christofferson is set to graduate in the summer, the Tiger fan left his mark in a way that will never be forgotten. Now you can still find Krishna in the stands for gymnastics meets and basketball games, as well as watch him dance as part of the baseball grounds crew during the season opener on February 16th. But if you don't want to wait that long, Krishna is actually here in... Thank you so much for coming. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me here. The most interesting man in college football. I want to just ask you, of course, uh, tell me a little bit about the experience of you getting the win and going over to Atlanta. Well, that was really cool to go to Atlanta. I mean, it's all college football, everything there. Like, the city turned into, you know, college football, dream for anybody. So, game day, SEC Nation, I mean, all the ESPN personality just walking around. Just everything was said, college football, massive tailgating, uh, fan fest. It was just really great to be able to take part in all that and do it for three days straight. So when, you, when they pulled the, the flyer off of the top of the statue and you saw yourself, what was the first thing you thought and what did it mean to you? I didn't really thought I won at first because you couldn't really tell who was under that, uh, which one of us was under the uh, curtain. But uh, it's pretty exciting because I never even thought I would make it to the Atlanta phase. And I, I never even thought to win the whole competition. So that was just really exciting. I was a loss for words. I was just afraid of, like, you know, not maybe passing out on the stage. I didn't want to do that in front of uh, Rob Riggle, the most interesting man. Right. So now, like, what, what does it take to become the most interesting fan? Uh, we got to learn a little bit about your game day routine. How do you become what you become on Saturdays? Well, as you guys saw, uh, I get painted up on Friday nights, and I'll sleep in the paint, and then I'll be up uh, just before college game day comes on, and I'll be tuning into that while I'm getting my uh, tailgate food ready, and I'll be walking down to my tailgate by 8 o'clock, the latest, like 8.15, and then I'll be stopping, taking pictures with fans along the way. And then as soon as those student gates open, I'm right in there, you know, same seats I've had for all four years. Cheering and going crazy. Yeah, going crazy until I lose my voice. And then my night's not actually over till Pac-12 after dark ends, like Arizona or USC. I'll stay up till the very last game there ends. Got it. Man, that's incredible, man. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. We got to get you some pub. F. King Alexander, you have to understand, this is the most interesting fan. Let's be proud of him. Anyway, we'll have more after the break.